coaching class today we are going to discuss part 3 language english language you know that in this category there will be questions out of 25 mark 25 mark question will be from language part and in this category there will be five passages each passage is contain five questions at the end you have to read the passage very carefully so that you can answer the five questions and this five questions contain four options you have to select the very suitable options for each questions today we are going to uh, discuss two passages so let us discuss the passages let us discuss the first paragraph simi was a puppy she was very beautiful asha saw her sitting in a park and crying so this paragraph is about a puppy she was very beautiful asha saw her sitting in a park and crying when uh, asha went to the park she saw the puppy sitting and crying when she took her she stopped crying and stared at her so asha took the puppy because puppy was crying when she took the puppy the puppy stopped crying and stared at her stared means to look uh, to a particular point as if it is somebody is unfamiliar it is you might have seen it if we are uh, a small children they if they see unfamiliar person person which they are not acquainted they don't know unknown person when they see they uh, uh, stared isn't it like that this puppy stared at asha asha like that look that look of that uh, uh, puppy she liked very much she decided to take it home so because of that look she decided to take the puppy home that decision was acceptable to her mother also her mother also accepted that they jointly gave her the name simi and gladly took her to their house and asha and her mother both of them has uh, they unanimously decided to give the name simi so they named the uh, puppy simi okay and gladly took her to their house they took this uh, very happily they took this puppy to their home nobody had given her any training either to because it is a uh child of a stray dog uh, it is okay it is uh, living in the street so nobody has given any training to this puppy so she decided to give some training so asha decided to train her to asha decided to train her puppy the next day she took the puppy out and gave her some training so in order to give training she took the puppy out from the out from her home and uh, so that uh, she can give some training a coach should always be a little strict you know coaches are always strict strict rules will be uh, issued they uh, you know coaches huh? so she act as a coach uh, even though she is coach, uh, she is giving training to the puppy she is uh, she is a coach okay so she is very strict when she disobeyed asha she punished her and when she did everything as ordered by asha she she gave her rewards okay so just like uh, other coaches what she has done whenever she gave orders some orders pop okay so the puppy uh, some orders puppy does not follow so that uh, when when she disobeyed uh, asha disobeyed asha means not followed the orders of asha she punished her 
she punished the uh, punished the puppy and when and when she did everything as ordered by asha she, when she did everything ordered by asha means when this uh, puppy obeyed asha completely means uh, uh, when puppy has done everything uh, every order given by asha she has given rewards also practical training was not so difficult so that training was very uh, not very difficult one it was very easy training so within a week time simi became a good cultured puppy so because of uh, her training this uh, simi became a good cultured puppy this is the paragraph clear and uh, let us go through the question answers asha took the puppy to her house because why uh, asha has taken this puppy uh, to the uh, to her house that is the first question you know that we have seen it why asha has taken this puppy when she took her she stopped crying uh, you know that uh, this uh, puppy was there in a park crying isn't it that time asha took uh, uh, this puppy she, the puppy stopped crying and uh, and stared at her and puppy stared at asha asha liked that look she decided to take it home that is the reason that uh, stared look of that uh, puppy asha liked very much let us see the answers uh, she felt pity on her she liked her looks that is the answer she liked the dogs she needed a puppy not because of that it is because she liked her look looks of puppy second question when she disobeyed here she denotes when she disobeyed here she denotes or oh, there's you have seen uh, there's a puppy uh, is trained by asha asha trained puppy and that time you have seen uh, puppy when she disobeyed asha she punished her and when she did everything as ordered by asha she gave her reward so here she means yes puppy when she disobeyed asha disobeyed asha she disobeyed asha means puppy disobeyed asha during the training she punished her so here she means she denotes puppy so asha mother of asha puppy okay she means puppy next question the opposite of the opposite of the word reward is you have seen it I've seen when she disobeyed asha she punished her and when she did everything as ordered by asha she gave her rewards when whenever this uh, puppy uh, obeyed asha completely when uh, as uh, you know you have seen when she did everything as ordered by asha asha has given so many uh, order okay during the training when all the orders are uh, are followed by this puppy she has given some rewards also so here two uh, words uh, you please uh, note one is she punished her and she reward her so uh, punish is the opposite of reward clear so when uh, uh, when she punished yes when she disobeyed when uh, puppy disobeyed the asha punished when a puppy uh, obeyed completely did or followed all the order isn't it when she uh, when puppy did everything as ordered by asha 
Asha has uh, given reward also. So opposite of uh, opposite word of reward is punishment. Second answer is the correct one. Next question. Puppy was given the name Simi by. That is a very simple question. Who gave a puppy the name Simi? Asha, her mother. Asha and her mother. Which is the correct answer? Yes, Asha and her mother unanimously they have given the name uh, Simi. You have seen they have they took uh, this uh, puppy home and they decided to give uh, the name uh, puppy. You have seen jointly gave. They jointly gave first paragraph, last sentence. They jointly gave her the name Simi. They means uh, Asha and her mother. That's it. That is the fourth question. Next, last question. What is the meaning of she did what she was asked to do? She did what she was asked to do means we have seen already that is obeyed. Clear? Followed all the orders means obeyed. Clear? So that is the answer. First uh, option is the correct answer. Let us go to the next uh, passage. Next passage. Alexander was returning. He, when Alexander was returning, he happened to meet a sannyasi. So this uh, paragraph is about Alexander the Great. You might have heard Alexander the Great, Great Emperor Alexander. So this paragraph is about the King, uh, the Emperor Alexander. Okay, he was returning. He uh, happened to meet uh, to meet a sannyasi. He was returning. Maybe after conquering uh, some country, he is returning. That time he met he meet a sannyasi on the way he meet a sannyasi he was having sunbath by sitting on a turf by the road side uh, by the side of the road what was uh, the sannyasi doing sannyasi was uh, sannyasi was uh, taking sunbath sannyasi was taking sunbath how yes Sunbath by sitting on a turf nearby the roadside. So in the road, uh, the sannyasi uh, near the roadside, sannyasi was taking sunbath on a turf. Turf means a grass uh, covered area, uh, covered area. So nearby the uh, near the roadside. That time Alexander the Great happened to pass uh, through that road. Alexander stood in front of him. Clear? So, Alexander stood in front of him. Alexander stood in front of the sannyasi. He expected that the sannyasi would respect him. So, Alexander thought the sannyasi would respect the emperor. So, uh, he expected it. But, he didn't. Sannyasi didn't. Uh, show any respect to Alexander. He was totally indifferent. He was uh, not uh, uh, giving any respect to Alexander. He was simply taking sunbath. Instead, he said, please move aside. Let sunlight come straight to me. Instead of giving respect, the sannyasi said to Alexander, the great Alexander, he said, you just move aside. Please move aside. Why? To move to one corner. Move away. Uh, aside. Let sunlight come straight to me. The sannyasi was uh, sitting and uh, this uh, Alexander was standing. Automatically, you know, his shade will fall on the sannyasi. So, sannyasi near the sunlight, but this man, this uh, king, the emperor, prevented sunlight falling on the body of sannyasi. So, sannyasi uh, told, you move aside, you move away. Then, Alexander asked 
in an angry voice by hearing this instead of respecting him he is uh, uh, he is uh, actually commanding clear and in an angry voice do you know who am i do you know who i am clear you know uh, who i am the sanyasi gave no reply sanyasi gave no reply the other man said the other man means the emperor alexander said i am an emperor i am an emperor alexander the great i am alexander the great then the sanyasi said emperor you no you are not an emperor this sanyasi is very bold man he said alexander himself said i am an emperor then sanyasi said no you are not an emperor ningal oru chakravarthi alla you are not an emperor then alexander said yes i am the emperor alexander said yes i am the emperor i have already conquered half of the world half of the world i have conquered logathinte pagudiyum njan keeladaki in reply to that the sanyasi said calmly emperors do not roam about restlessly like you emperors do not roam about restlessly they do not roam about they do not wander avaru ingane alanju nadakilla they do not roam about restlessly you are restlessly uh, you are wandering uh, this years le ore akshamanai ningal ingane wander cheyana ningal ingane alanju nadakkan but emperors do not wander do not roam about restlessly like you go go try to conquer human mind by love you conquered half of the world half of the world is conquered by you but you go and conquer the minds of people human mind you try to conquer the minds of human by love not by power you you try to conquer the minds of a human by love alexander bowed his head and walked away calmly so alexander understood his mistake he bowed his head in front of the sanyasi sanyasi is very great you know having great knowledge so in front of sanyasi he bowed his head alathala kunichu and moved calmly he became very calm he understood his mistake and he went calmly so that is the paragraph let us go to the question answers why did sanyasi tell alexander to move aside why did sanyasi uh, tell alexander to move aside huh? what is the reason yes you know that sanyasi was taking sun bath isn't it that time sitting by sitting but alexander stood in front and blocked the sunlight from falling on the body of sanyasi that is the reason let us see the answers because he was not a devotee not because of that he was not a devotee or disciple you know devotee adu adhyam bhaktan aagathadu kondalla devotee means having uh, this past uh, belief in mind clear devotee and uh, not because of that because he prevented sunlight from falling on his body that is the correct answer alexander uh, stood in front so sunlight is blocked or prevented adu kondan surya prakashate chakravartiyude shariram marachu le this uh, uh, this sanyasi want to take sun bath 
so he need sunlight that is why he said uh, the emperor to move aside because he roamed about restlessly not because of that because he did not ask permission They, these are uh, uh, not the correct option correct option is option number 2 next question which of the following word means conquer conquer what is the meaning of conquer yes kiradakku to defeat bo bo means talagunikka but which is the correct word of which is the which of the following word means conquer defeat defeat is a conquer kiradakka ennaladan means to defeat next is emperors generally do not to do this what it is you know that at the end of this paragraph uh, the sanyasi said emperors do not to do this what to wander like you wander restlessly you have seen it le uh, you alexander in reply the sanyasi said calmly emperors do not roam about restlessly like you go go and try to conquer human by it by laugh so emperors do not uh, the, this uh, wander or roam around restlessly that is the answer so here uh, the answer emperors generally do not do this what visit sanyasi rule the empire uh, rule the empire roam about restlessly that is the answer respect sanyasi so correct answer is the third option roam about restlessly and the fourth question which of the following is not the description of an emperor uh, emperor uh, emperor inde oru visheshanam allatha edu ennaanu chodyam ruler ruler and emperor same meaning is there king king and emperor also somewhat similar meaning Ofi- officer officer is totally different conqueror conqueror is also you know emperor they conquer the nations so the correct option is officer officer is not the description of emperor emperor and their characteristics are la or it is not the description of emperor the fifth one human mind can be conquered by how to conquer human mind le manushyante manasine kiradakkunnathu endu kondana parnathu conquer human mind by love yes the first answer is the correct answer with the power you can conquer the nation but you cannot conquer the mind of people wealth or with the sword vaalu undo sambathu undo power undo namukku oralade oru oralade manasu kiradakkan kariyilla it is with love so first answer is the correct one so this is about this two paragraph so uh, i am going to give you few more paragraph you do one thing you take a screenshot and try to answer it okay and uh, we can see in the next class with uh, some other uh, questions okay so thank you one and all